All right, in the process of installing my steering column, um, so I've got my seal, uh, and I've got my two brackets that I uh, just recently painted and cleaned up, burned it down, um, and that steering column, and I just installed the drag joint right there, ready to go. Um, so I'm putting this in uh, before I do a final fasten installation of um, uh, the firewall a blanket. Um, it's gonna be a little, little hard to get in here and behind it, but it's loose. I can get it in there. I can put the brackets on and screw it in, um, and then we'll go from there. So, so rag joint is in, ready to go. Steering column is in. I've got my bracket on, um, and then I'm not gonna bolt it all the way. I'm just gonna hang it free so that I can mess with wiring and still kind of move stuff around. So let me get set up. All right, since I'm by myself, so I just got the column piece of wire hanging down so it's just freely moving so that when I get in here I can pull the steering column back get, get uh, everything um, get the seal on there get the clamp in there and still have room to play with um, to get this thing in so uh, I'll be back all right on the engine side um, so now here we're gonna bring it in and get these uh, get these bolts on uh, so I remember that there's two different sizes. I can't remember the, the size of the bolt itself, but we got a bigger hole on one side than we do on the other. So the smaller one is um, is this one here, and then the bigger one here. So the smaller one is the one that has the ground attached to it. The larger one does it. So I'm gonna get these nuts off and then pull this in here, and then adjust the wire inside, lift it up, and get the right angle. So I've got my seal on. That's it for now. I've got the seal on it right now, so as soon as I get these column in the right angle on the inside, then we'll go from there. All right, so I just slid it on the nuts. I mean, then the bolts there and there and on the inside. Um, so I just wired the steering column so it stays up a little bit higher, but still movable. And flexible. And I just put some paper underneath there so I don't scratch my column up a little bit. Um, so I'm gonna put those nuts on and um, go from there. All right, got my uh, nuts and bolts out um, to bolt this thing up. Um, a little reminder: there is also the shim right here. Okay, the shim goes on here. So there's the first bolt, so on the right side of the steering wheel, there's the first one bolt, and then it goes on the second one in the back. And there's also the little plastic ring that helps hold that shim up for you. Um, I don't know if you can buy one, but um, mine's original, so I'm putting it back in. And then I've got the, the bolts here, so I'm gonna keep going. All right, the column is in kind of just in position where it needs to be, it's kind of locked in and the angle it needs. Um, so I've got the, the Bolts are in just just a little bit. Doesn't have to catch a thread. Okay, and then <clears throat> I've got the these two nuts here on the rag joint. Not super tight, just nice and snug enough to pull this in or right away. So, and then here we've got our seal. Um, so now that the column is in the right position where it needs to be, now we can get that seal um, and the bracket installed. Here's going to be the, the frustrating part. So that bracket there, and we've got the seal there, and that bracket will snug onto the, the steering column, and then smash that um, that seal, and then get a, and uh, we'll see how it goes. All right, moving along. So now in here we've got it. I've got it all lined up. Hey, okay. I've got the the three screws in. And I've got these screws in here, and it's all loose right now. You don't want to tighten anything up right now. You want to make sure it, so it's all just move it around. All right. Under here, there's the other one. The other screw. There. Okay. And on the other side, you can see they poke through a little bit. And then what I did was I got some of that silicone putty, and I put it in the hole of the screw. And you can see here, a little bit of putty's coming out. Okay, that way it seals that screw. The putty coming out here. 
Okay, so I just shoved it in the hole, and as it screws in, it seals up. Um, and then when I get it in all the way, I will put some more on those screws so that we can get no leaks. Um, and then uh, go from there. So, um, what you want to do is uh, oh, I tighten up so you can get get it. Just, just enough so that you can't move it. Uh, put these screws, but then you've got to tighten this one up because this one grabs the collar of the steering column, these nuts here. So if you get these too tight, then you cannot snug um, the seal up against the firewall. Um, so you know, I think I'm gonna do the opposite. I might snug these up just a little bit, just so that when I tighten it up, it can move along the column of the steering wheel. Um, but, uh, I'm gonna try. Well, uh, I'm gonna stop where I'm at now. So right now it's all loose, okay? So I can move the steering column up and down still. Okay, movable. It's movable. Um, I lo and behold forgot that I still have to put the center console in and I need steering wheel down a little bit for that. So um, that's plenty of play for me, move around. So I'm gonna leave it as is right now, so I'm not gonna tighten that seal up. So um, that's partially done. Um, so that's it for that. So um, we'll see more um, when I start getting um, the center uh, console installed. Um, so for now, I will put this back up. So again, I just needed that extra play in here for um, the console. I mean, not console, the, the gauge cluster, blah.